Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on chance. Chance deals with the likelihood that an event may or may not happen. Another word for chance is probability. Examples of events involving chance. The following are some examples of questions we could ask relating to the chances associated with different events. What is the chance that it will rain today? What is the chance that my team will win the grand final? What is the chance that we will go out for dinner? Other simple examples. The following is a simple everyday example that occurs at the beginning of a sporting event. For example, the referee will toss a coin at the beginning of a tennis game to decide which player serves first. So just a normal coin would have a head on one side and a tail on the other. So there are only two possibilities when the coin is tossed. So on the previous slide there are only two possible outcomes when a coin is tossed. One could be a head, the other could be a tail. The chance or probability that a head will show up is a half. The chance or probability that a tail will show up is a half. The two events are equally likely. Hence, this system is fair for both players. We could also say that the chance of an event occurring is 0.5 or 50%. Of course, they're both equal to a half. Another popular example. Another popular example involves rolling a die, which is singular of dice. So that's the singular meaning one, and that's the plural meaning more than one. A die is used in many board games. Now here's a simple convention, or the normal way we present this. Let P4 denote the probability that a 4 is rolled. So when you see a P with a 4 inside the parentheses or brackets, that means the probability that a 4 is rolled. So here's the die. I've represented it here again, just for ease of reference. So how do we work out the probability that a 4 will show up when we roll a die? This is how we do it. We work out the number of 4s on a die, so how many 4s are there, and we put that over the total number of possibilities. Hence, the probability of rolling a 4 is 1, because there's only one 4, and there are 6 possibilities. So the probability of rolling a 4 is 1 over 6. The probability of rolling an even number, well, how many even numbers are there on a die? There are 3 of them, 2, 4, 6. How many numbers altogether? 6. 3 over 6 is a half when you simplify it. And in a similar fashion, the probability of rolling an odd, there are three odd numbers, one, three, five, six numbers altogether. So three over six equals a half. So the probability of rolling an odd is a half. The probability of rolling a seven, well, how many sevens are there on a die? There aren't any. There are six numbers, zero over six is zero. So the chance of rolling a seven is zero, which means it's impossible because there are no sevens on the die. The probability of rolling a 3 or a 4, well, how many 3s or 4s are there on the die? Well, there are two of them. 1, 2. So it's 2 over 6. Simplify that to 1 over 3. And finally, what's the probability of rolling any number on the die? That is, any of the 6 numbers. Well, there are 6 numbers. 6 numbers. 6 over 6 gives you 1. So the probability of rolling any number is 1. That means it must happen. It is certain. So this video has introduced us to the basic idea of chance or probability. And we've seen some simple examples involving a coin and a die.